Okay, well, the principle of putting is to try and get your shoulders to rock back and through, um, regardless of whether the putter's moving in a straight line or not. Um, I don't think that's a good thing for, to focus on. I think because we stand here and the ball is over here, there will always be a slight arc. But if we can avoid any unnecessary wrist action when we putt, we can learn to use our shoulders to generate the length and speed that we need to control the pace of our putts. And a big key to doing that well is how you hold the putter in not just the left hand, but also the right hand. So if we start off with the left hand, I like to try and make the putter grip an extension of the forearm. So for that reason, I'm going to hold the putter through the lifeline of my left hand. And you'll notice that the grip sits in the middle of my forearm. And then with my right hand, my right hand goes below my left hand in my case. And I'm going to again get the life, take the lifeline of my right hand and place it parallel to the lifeline or palm of my left hand. So from there, my forearms should be pretty level, and that means that my shoulders are parallel to the target line. From there, I can rock my shoulders back and through and allow the length and the speed of my stroke to control the pace of the golf ball. Even if I was to break my left wrist through impact, with the putter held through the lifeline and becoming an extension of my forearm, even if my left wrist does break down, it will break down, it'll break through square. Yes, I'll increase a little bit of loft, but the putter face should stay square to my target line. If the putter is sitting in my fingers and my left wrist breaks down, not only will I increase loft, but I can also rotate and close the club face.